Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. To those who come here for the first time, by the way, I am Engineer J. I am a civil engineer and I am also a master plumber. And I hope guys that you are still on good condition. You are doing great amidst this pandemic. And it has been a long time na since my last video. And I still keep on thanking you guys for showing your support by watching all my videos. But please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell as well. So what would be our topic in this video? So we have this new topic. This is all about estimating concrete hollow blocks from masonry construction. So if you are planning to build a house or to build a fence, so you can ask your civil engineer or you can ask your foreman to estimate the number of concrete hollow blocks to be used for your construction. But if you are planning to do it on your own, so this video is for you. So let me help you on how to compute or estimate the number of a CHB. Okay, so again in this video you will learn how to determine the required number of CHB for masonry construction using two different approach. So we have the first approach here which is the fundamental method and then the second one is the area method which is the simplest and the easiest method. But before that let me give you some things to remember. But first you need to familiarize yourself with the typical dimension of a concrete hollow block. So the length of a regular CHB is 400 millimeters or that is 16 inches in English unit. The height here is 200 millimeters or that is 8 inches in English unit. And we have a two different type of thickness that we usually use here in the Philippines. We have the 100 millimeter CHB or that is 4 inches and the 150 millimeter CHB this is typically used for exterior or fence and that is 6 inches in English unit okay and then you need to understand that for every 1 square meter of masonry area there would be 12.5 pieces of CHB that need to be used okay so again um, this you need to familiarize this one because we will be using it for the second approach which is the area method. So without further ado, let's try to solve an example. So we have here example number one which is um, this the plan for a fence. Okay, so again this is the wall. The wall or the fence has a 20 meter length and a 12 meter width. And on this side we have this 4 meter wide gate. Okay, and then this one, this is the, the profile view of our wall. This is our wall footing. Okay, and we begin putting CHB from the top of our wall footing. Our wall here is 2.6 meter high. Okay, so this would be the height of our fence from the top of our wall footing. In order to uh, further understand this plan, so I prepared a three-dimensional drawing. So this is the three-dimensional view of our fence in which again this is 20 meters, okay? This one is 12 meters and the height is 2.6 meter. That is from the top of our wall footing and the width of our gate here is 4 meters. So, so therefore, so it is very obvious that we have the width of this wall here which is 4 meters and on the other side is 4 meters as well. As we have this uh, total of 12 meter width. Okay. So we try to compute the number of CHB here by using the first approach which is the fundamental method. So in fundamental method, we need first to calculate the total perimeter of the fence. When we say perimeter, that is the total length of our masonry wall. So in this case, we add so we add the, um, the length of our fence. So we have 20 meters plus 12 meters. So this side here then plus 20 meters on the other side of the fence plus 4 meters plus 4 meters on the other side of the gate so we have the total perimeter is equal to 60 meters 
Now take note, we exclude the width of our gate, which is 4 meter on the computation because there is no need to put a CHB on that side because again, that is opening. Okay, so after that, now take note, we have this 60 meter width. We divide that with the length of our CHB so that we can compute the number of CHB per row of our wall. Since we have, let's say this, this is our wall, of course, we place our um, CHB this way, okay, in which the length of our CHB is placed horizontally or the 400 millimeter dimension of our CHB. Okay, so this is 400 millimeter. So in order to compute the number of CHB for every row of our wall, that is, we need to divide the length with the length of our CHB. So therefore, the number of CHB per row is equal to length divided by 0 0.4 meters. So we convert that into meters so that we would have the same dimension as with the length of our wall. Okay, so that's how we compute the number of CHB. Now for the number of CHB uh, with respect to the height of our wall, now take note we place our CHB this way. Now take note our height of CHB is equal to 200 millimeter. So that means the number of CHB to be placed for every column of our wall is equal to height over again the thick the height of our CHB is 200 millimeter so therefore we divide by 0 0.2 a meter okay so that's how we compute for the number of CHB for every row and column of our masonry wall so in this case since we have this length of 60 meter so we can compute the number of CHB per row that is equal to 60 meters divided by again the length of our CHB is 0 0.4 meter so we have 150 pieces of CHB now for the number of CHB placed vertically so we have the number of CHB per column that is equal to now we know that the height of our fence is 2.6 meter that is measured from the top of our wall footing okay so we have 2.6 divided by then the height of our chb is 0 0.2 meter so we have 13 pieces of chb placed vertically on our fence so in order to compute the total number of chb that is we multiply 150 times 13 and this would give us 1950 pieces of CHB so this is now the exact number of CHB to be used for our uh, masonry construction or for the building of our fence so you can add um, a contingency when there so that if in case now my breakage then you would have this extra CHB as contingency okay so we have this answer using the fundamental method now what if we will be using area method in this case now for area method we will just be needing the formula for area which is equal to the length times the width in which in this case we will be computing all the area or all that or the total surface area of our fence so we divide this um, fence into several area so let's say this is our area one this is our area two this is our area three area four and we have this area five so for area one we multiply the height and the width that is we know that the height here is 2.6 so the area for this side is 4 times 2.6 that is equal to 10.4 square meter now on this area or on this side of the gate we have the same dimension we have 4 meter width and 2.6 meter height so obviously we would come up with the same result that is we have 10.4 square meter now for area 3 
this side here take note we do not have opening so that means we use the the full area or the full length which is 20 meters times the height which is 2.6 meter this will give us 52 square meter okay now for area 4 take note we have the same dimension with uh, area 3 so that means we have 52 square meter as well as our area 4 and lastly we have this area 5 that is we have 12 that is the width times the height which is still 2.6 so we have 31.2 square meter so to compute for the total surface area so you just add 10.4 plus 10.4 plus 52 plus 52 plus 31.2 this will give us a total area of 156 square meter now take note we have already known that for every one square meter of masonry area this requires 12 0.5 pieces of CHB take note of that so that means to compute for the total number of CHB we just need to multiply 156 square meter with the 12.5 pieces of CHB that would give us 1950 pieces of CHB so this is our exact number of CHB to be purchased in order to build the fence and take note we have the same answer with the answer from the fundamental method okay now again you can add a contingency number like you can add 10% of it in order if in case there would be breakage or accidental um, breakage of a CHB okay now that would end our presentation thank you guys for listening but please guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please show your support by hitting the notification bell thank you guys for listening i hope that you understand a lot in this discussion thank you guys and please keep safe always and god bless